I just watched a new Netflix hit and it's it actually came out last year but it's trending now in the UK it's called Fall if you like survivor films this film is for you just like it's for me I love all of them I have watched the one where you're stuck um, at the bottom of the sea in the middle of the ocean, outside your yacht, chairlift in the middle of the mountains, etc, etc. So I love survival films. And this was no exception. By the way, if you suffer from acrophobia, probably don't watch it, okay? Because there are a lot of heights. I do actually like heights and that's why I'm going to sign up for top row climbing in London, but this is off topic. I actually quite liked the film. Some of the elements were like, oh my god, really? But not as many, so... I found it quite, I would say, realistic in a way. The storyline was also interesting, so it started with, if you watched it, please drop a comment, what did you like about it, what you didn't like about it. If you haven't watched it, ask anything that you want, or, you know, go watch it and then come back. I do like the storyline of grief, so I didn't like the start, it wasn't very original, so it reminded me Vertical Limit. And it was literally like the same thing. But then it unfolded and of course your the question will be for all of you is because this is what I was thinking about as well. Like you are suffering from grief, right? Because you know, you lost someone, you lost your husband or whatever. And pretty much like your best friend who is crazy YouTuber like me comes to you and asks you like, do you want to climb this? highest tower in the, you know, <laughs> in the US or in the world. It's like 2,000 feet, which is like 600 and something meters. It's ridiculous. This was actually based on the actual tower. Um, and that tower is, let me check that, in Sacramento. So that's uh, Walnut Grove, um, Walnut Grove, whatever, California. Um, and actually people do climb it for real and they usually parachute off it. So the first question would be, would you climb it? And secondly, would you climb it like for dealing with grief or to become famous YouTuber or famous influencer, Instagrammer, whatever, or there's no way you would climb it. So in my case, I don't like, I definitely, I'm not like scared of heights um, that much, but I want to be in control. At least I need to believe I'm in, I'm in control. I would probably climb it if I had a parachute on and a lot of people under, you know, waiting for me. So other than that, they were just like, it's just two of them and they started climbing. So it's probably not such a good idea. A little bit of a spoiler, but do you actually think it's possible that the whole ladder from like top to the bottom just like fell down? Because they showed like two screws or whatever and then they, the whole climb, the whole ladder just like went down. Which to me that part was a little bit like, uh. But what else can you do, you know, if you want to, you know, f focus your film around the climbing the tower and something going wrong. So, fair enough. I really had no idea how they are going to get out of there and what means they have available. So... You know, I like the creativity, like the drone, the phone, what else was there? The body, oops. The film cost 5 million to produce and it grows um, at 22 million, so it's a f that's a fair deal, you know. I think it's very well made. I actually liked the the characters and act actresses, actors as well. It's always women, by the way, like... I like the fact that it wasn't too little literal literal I don't like films or I've recently noticed like on films or even like either TV shows or even music videos which is horrible that a lot of artists or producers or directors or whatever like try to explain everything because there are a lot of I I understand there are a lot of dumb people out there but you're killing art so like just like Brian May in Bohemian Rhapsody, he said, there's no mystery if everything is explained. You know, some things shouldn't be explained. And it's also good for marketing because people talk about it, like ending explained, right? On YouTube, on TikTok, or like everywhere. So this is actually good if you don't explain everything. In this case, I do like that that scene 
where the backpack just flew down and the other girl she was just like literally like standing and like watched it fall and then the other one the main character came comes down and she was like why didn't you catch the backpack like when she just stood there and saw the backpack fall right next to her i knew i knew immediately and you didn't have to, like, you don't have to explain it anymore. Like, if you don't get it, then you don't get it. But it's pretty clear. So I really, like, I I liked how they uncovered that. I think that was really creative. 10 out of 10 for this scene. Little trivia. So the filmmakers uh, wanted at first to use green screen all the way. So basically, oh, we're just gonna do, like, green screen. But then in the end they decided to go like a little bit like real um real deal so they built like a 30 meter end of the tower so the highest part on top of the mountain <laughs> so it actually was like pretty high but it wasn't you know what i mean like it just looked like it's really high so i actually also do appreciate that um cuz not everything has to be green screen well talking about like AI and green screen and all that stuff they also dropped 30 f-bombs and they needed to overdub because they wanted to be available for like 13 years old and so on so they used AI for the overdub and the AI changed the movement the motion of the mouth when they said the f-bomb um, so here we are well so as I said the tower the actual tower is over 2,000 feet tall, which is 600 meters. And if you fall, ever, it will take you 16 seconds to hit the ground. Ouch. My question will be, would you climb that tower for whatever reason? And if yes, how would you do it? How many people with you? Or like... No, or maybe if I gave you like million dollars, not that I have it, but like if somebody gave you million dollars or pounds or whatever, would you climb it? 600 meters, 2,000 feet. So my overall rating would actually be pretty high because, I mean, I would surely watch it again. I think I can lean towards like 8.5 out of 10. Um, or maybe like... A I, I'm not saying it's a masterpiece, but I think it's pretty good overall. Like, I really, really enjoyed it. Let me know if you liked the film, if you enjoyed it, if you're scared of heights. Do subscribe and I'll see you next time. If you have any recommendation for what should I watch and review, hit me in the comments.